please don't kill us. Those were the emotional words coming from neighbors over a proposed addition to their community. News Channel 5's Julia Brock was at that meeting. Julia, why the big outcry? Well, Carrie, Jolton is known as a quiet community, but so many residents tell me they're fearful that will change with the addition of a massive gas compressor. And they also say they're concerned about the health and safety of their families. A small army of concerned citizens. This has been devastating to us. United for one mission. We have spent a lot of time and a lot of effort in trying to keep this from coming into our community. To stop Tennessee Gas Pipeline from installing a gas compressor on this plot of land in Jolton. The company is a subsidiary of energy giant Kinder Morgan. This is as big as a football field. I mean, it has an 80 foot tall stack on it. This is a, a 60,000 horsepower engine that burns natural gas and will be the single largest source of air emissions for a combustion turbine in the county. The planned gas compressor station is part of the company's push to expand transportation capacity from an existing pipeline that goes from West Virginia to the Gulf Coast. Kinder Morgan says a facility will take up to 26 acres of the land. It will be gated and surrounded by vegetation to provide a natural buffer from air, noise, and visual impacts. It is no different than the gas that you cook with on your stove and that you heat your home with in the winter. Hazardous air pollutants that may have been present at the wellhead are removed prior to their entry into the system. But community members don't buy the company talk. The Paradise Ridge Park, this is going back up to that. And I, I mean, we have our walking down from that. It's going to be right there. I wouldn't want to go and listen to that noise and, uh, and to think, well, maybe I'm going to get blown up today. So no decisions were made tonight. Rather, the Metro Health Department will take all the comments and especially the ones that focus on air pollution. They will look at how that affects the permit. They'll make the changes they need to make and then go ahead and make their recommendation to the EPA, which does have final say at the end of the day. Now, if this is all approved, Kinder Morgan plans to start building in December. Back to you, Carrie. Julia, thank you. Good